It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. The highlight of this week was our announcement of plans to construct a Veterans Memorial Park overlooking the East Tennessee State Veterans Cemetery on John Sevier Highway. Blue Water Industries donated a parcel of property on the French Broad River, which will provide a breathtaking view of the cemetery. This memorial park will provide a place for reflection, commemoration, and celebration and will be designed by veterans organizations with the help of the East Tennessee Community Design Center. Plans include a covered pavilion for services, meditation, and private areas for reflection overlooking the beautiful French Broad River. Memorials and benches along the, an accessible walkway and a natural surface path that winds along the edge of the river bluff. The Legacy Parks Foundation has launched a campaign to raise the $1.5 million needed to complete the project. Knox County kicked off the fundraising effort with a $250,000 contribution. Please visit LegacyParks.org to see how you or your organization can help. Speaking of donations, thanks to the friends of the Knox County Public Library who commemorated their 50th anniversary with a $50,000 donation to Knox County Libraries. We are thrilled to have the support of a great organization like that. This donation will be used to expand the library's offerings of ebooks and audiobooks. Thanks again to the Friends of the Library for this wonderful gift. Happy retirement to Magistrate Dirk Weddington from Juvenile Court after 30 years of service. Magistrate Weddington started the county's Juvenile Recovery Court and has been an integral part of that program's success, helping young people overcome addiction and giving them a chance at a productive life instead of a life of incarceration. Thanks, Dirk, for your impact on our community. Engineering and Public Works was busy this week, busy saving taxpayers money. The county has entered into a new landfill disposal contract that is expected to save more than $1 million over the 10-year period of the contract. The county and the city of Knoxville partnered on a joint effort to take advantage of these savings. Waste Connections was the winning bidder. We are extremely happy to work with the city in an effort that will save money for all of us, and also to work with the private sector on providing a high quality service for all the residents of Knox County. Because the weather is holding up, I'm happy to announce that we are going to keep our splash pads open for a little while longer. They'll be open daily from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. through Sunday, October 11th, and they're free for children of all ages. Tomorrow is the home opener for Vols football at Neyland Stadium. Now that Cade Mays has been cleared, I believe that UT has the best offensive line in the SEC, so I'm really looking forward to see what they do against Missouri. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week, and go Vols!